there, Tenno. I'm Shadow Scythe, and today I just want to point out Warframe is back. Now, before I actually jump in the mission, I kind of got away from Warframe just because of the fact that I've been getting sidetracked doing all of my other videos and playing around with some of the new mechanics and reworked weapons that I just haven't had time to look anything up. So I finally broke down and managed to look up the stuff that I wanted to talk about. And this time I actually also took the time to sort of script out what I wanted to say. Just so that it's not a total train wreck of my thoughts and me just rambling on like some of my other Warframe videos are. So now with all that out of the way, the topic that I'm going to be talking about is are the sentient and everything that we pretty much think we know about them right now as well as a little bit of theory crafting towards the end of the video based off of the knowledge that we do have so without further ado i'm gonna jump into a mission sentient what are they exactly from what is available to us the sentients are the age-old enemy of the oregon empire but they didn't start out that way. Sentients were originally developed as terraforming drones that were sent to the Tau system, most likely for colonization efforts. That said, their ability to adapt to any form of damage was what made them viable for this, as they could survive the jump virtually unscathed and in mass when coupled with their abilities to replicate themselves from any damaged parts. This also leads to the initial start of their conflict of the Orokin, However, as though, even though the sentients are said to be a machine race, the Void is, po is poisonous to them, as seen here during the Octavia Xanthan quest. As you can see, these sentients are decaying, slowly having the Void eat away at their very being. The Orokin knew this and still sent them through the Void to the Tau system, paying no attention to even the slightest possibility of repercussions. Despite the sentients had somehow gained sentience while in the Tau system, and despite the cost, they had returned to the Origin system to wage war on their creators and former masters. This cost presumably being their ability to multiply from their damaged parts, in other words, their sterility. This is mentioned by the sentient Hunhao during the Nata questline, while the Tenon try to seal his tomb and prevent the resurrection of an enemy long forgotten. It, it is unknown if Hun Hao is the oldest sentient, sentient in existence, or if he is merely the oldest that made the journey back to the origin system. However, he seems to be the epicenter of the sentient faction that the Orokin faced in the Old War. Realizing that they were fighting a losing battle, this forced the Orokin to use the only possible weapon they had that couldn't be adapted and used against them. The survivors of the Zariman 10 Zero, the Tenno. But as revealed in the Nata questline, the sentients could not adapt to the Tenno's raw power derived from the Void, thus back into a corner themselves, Hunhao sent his youngest and last offspring, Nata, to into the Orkin Empire disguised as a human to turn the Tenno against their masters and eliminate all of them. This, however, backfires as Nata instead chooses to adopt the Tenno and hides them away, casting away her old self to become the Lotus. More up-to-date, Hunhao escapes his tomb with the aid of the Stalker, manipulating him through the weapons and armor made from his remains. And it would appear, housing their consciousness in material objects rather than their regular bodies, safeguards them from the negative influence of the Void, as seen here with the Stalker on Lua, and the Lotus in the Orbiter compartment of the Tenno ship, which, as you all know, is the main portion of the ship that stays hidden within the Void. However, if they have this ability to place their minds into an organic host, the sentience can't completely be machine-based. If that were the case, the Lotus wouldn't be able to pass as human without s raising some form of suspicion. That being said, sentients also have no true sense of death, as Hanhao speaks to us through his uncovered remains on Neptune, 
and later but through the gear donned by the Stalker himself. Though the Tenno thought him gone after breaking his vessel when the Stalker carelessly left it planted within the chest of a Warframe. This assumption proves false, however, as Hun Hao resurfaces in Octavia's anthem deeply embedded in Seth Wansuda's datascape. After purging Hun Hao, it's clear that the sentients have a more etheric existence than a physical one, merely being forced from their vessel upon its destruction rather than being eliminated alongside it. Well, that's it for this episode of Warframe. If you guys like that video, hit that like button and subscribe. If not, there's more to come that may pique your interest. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Player.me to stay up to date with anything outside of regular video updates. And if you would like to support the channel and its endeavors, check out my Patreon link in the description box below. And until next time, Tenno, stick to the shadows.